Hey yo, what is going on you guys? Alright, so we have another DC movie here and let me tell you, it's one hell of a ride. So let's go ahead and let's talk about it. Wonder Woman guys, all right. I don't know why the hell I did that, but screw it. Let's keep going. Oh, huh, let me just let me I want to get this out the way first because I heard it sometime today and Let me just say it's completely wrong. Somebody told me that this movie is supposed to be this feminist type movie guys, let me tell you that is 300% BS all right, that is not what this movie is in fact this movie is just an amazing superhero movie that goes against the grain and against the norm, which I myself appreciate. It's time to change things a little bit. It is a funny, quirky type movie that I that I enjoy. And most importantly, and the thing that is all about Wonder Woman, this movie is about love and compassion and so many other things, guys. And this movie has it. <clears throat> so going in, so you know what? Let's kind so let's go ahead with tradition. Let's go ahead and start with the plot, guys. Alright, so I kind of did not think this was gonna go well, but after a while I did get I did I did end up enjoying this perspective. Now the now the movie starts off after the events of Batman vs Superman. Needless to say, Wonder Woman does end up kind of telling her story. And that's where the movie, and that's where the movie essentially began, and that's where the movie pretty much starts. Now, some people might not like that, but the way this came across definitely felt a little bit different from normal. Just, just people just dialogue and mon and monologuing all this other stuff, and that's not what this movie, and that's not what this movie is about. As a ch as startup as a child, and you see her slowly grow up, and you see her skill level dramatically increase and that to me was a really really good part about the movie because you really got to connect with her and you really got to know her character a little bit more but and that's all us that's as far as I'm gonna take it guys because I do not want to ruin this movie for you moving on to the characters uh, and <laughs> and it kind of sucks that I cannot pronounce her name so I'm not going to but Wonder Woman in this movie was amazing. I loved her performance in this movie guys. She completely knocked it out of, out of the park. The way the way she carried herself. I I, I will be a little and I at first I was getting a little bit confused. Wonder Woman in this movie guys is scary tall. Like she is like tall like Taller than Chris Pine, which is crazy. Which is crazy. Well, I don't think Chris Pine's actually that tall, anyways. Moving on to act moving on to actually Chris Pine himself. Again, a fantastic actor, a fantastic performance. I don't expect anything less from him. Now, all the other characters in this movie, guys, I'm gonna say this and and I don't normally talk about side characters this much, but every side character that I'm already showing you guys on the screen here. They did an amazing job as a supporting actor and the thing about supporting actors is they may not be on screen a whole lot and that you might not get to know them as well as the main characters. But let me tell you, when you can connect to these side characters in a way that you care about them, that to me is a amazing way. That is an amazing storytelling that they have going on here and I truly enjoyed it. So, so many movies get that wrong. The side characters are just nothing there. They're just stereotypical. These guys, these characters guys, it feels like they're real and you can actually, and you and you feel for them. And that's the most important thing. Moving on to the, to the cinematography and the CGI. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, the cinematography I do believe is great. Um, there is a little bit of uh, slow-mo shots. If you guys have seen the trailer, there's a little bit, there's a, a quite a bit of that. But um, there is some slightly funky CGI. Some explosions don't look as good as they as, as they could have. Uh, certain action scenes, certain action scenes don't look quite as crisp as they should be. Um, and some of the camera movement, uh, it looks kind of fuzzy, and you, it doesn't look like it's quite in focus. Kind of made my eyes kind of cross a little bit. But now let me say this. It's really, really minimal, like just super tiny, and it doesn't really ruin the experience of the movie, at least to my eyes. All right, so now, and the soundtrack, the music, guys, awesome. I loved it. Now, 
kind of just talking about the movie now just uh, just here guys it was a awesome movie the action was great the action was great and the way the characters went about it it was just so so well done um, quite honestly I think this is far better than Batman vs Superman and I believe I'm gonna even so far as go to say that out of a lot of the DC movies that uh, I'm not gonna say all of them there but this movie were all where you guys rank your top DC movies guys I'm gonna have to put mine up this movie up there guys it is re it is that great and of course the climax and the ending guys I will say this I didn't see it coming and if you guys see this movie I actually saw this movie at, a, at an advanced screening so wait a couple few days you guys you guys will know what I'm talking about this, this movie <laughs> let me just say it was it was pretty damn good guys let me just say that and the way this movie ends is just it is such a heartwarming ending guys a little bit of a tearjerker and in fact, there are some tear-jerking moments throughout this movie. And I think that's what completes this movie altogether, guys. This movie not only had great action that everyone will enjoy, it has great characters that you can connect with. It has a pretty damn good plot going for it. It has pretty much every, it has funny, quirky moments that you guys will enjoy. I chuckled a couple times myself. It show and it has compassion, it has love in it. And it has some real tear-jerking moments, guys. If that is not a perfect movie, guys, tell me what is. Because to me, that's what this movie is. A perfect movie. With that being said, guys, I'm going to have to rank this movie a perfect 10 out of 10, guys. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check it out when it finally does release. Trust me, guys, it is the best money you will ever spend. That is how good this movie is. Normally, a perfect 10 out of 10 for me, guys, is a movie that I would go want to that I would want to go see again. And trust me, guys, I would want to go see this movie a second time and even a third time because that's that is how amazing this movie is, guys. And that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, by all means, hit that like button as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. We make more videos just like this. And if you guys have seen this movie, when hopefully it does release, when it does release. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys have the same opinion? Do you guys think it's a great movie, one of the, one of the best DC has made, or are you on the latter so side of that and you don't think this movie is great? And by all means, please tell me. And, and by all means, please let me know what you guys think. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.